and welcome back to the Preserving the Nation Gallery at the National Museum for another episode of Curator's Corner. We are here today standing in front of one of our more recognizable artifacts, a Zouave jacket and fez. Originating in the French Army in North Africa in the 1830s, these colonial light infantry units were regarded as elite soldiers. These French Army units were characterized by tactics that relied upon open formations, individual initiative, and physical fitness. Zouave units were considered elite and were marked as such by their distinctive uniforms. A soldier in Zouave dress typically wore a short, embroidered jacket, vest, sash, baggy trousers, and a brimless cylindrical hat known as a fez. The Zouave uniform and esprit de corps were adopted by both Union and Confederate troops during the Civil War. Because of their rarity, few Civil War Zouave uniforms are known to have survived. The example that you see behind me belonged to Corporal Matthew Bradley. Born in Yorkshire, England in 1837, he immigrated to the United States as a child with his family, ultimately settling in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. At the age of 25, Matthew Bradley enlisted in the U.S. Army, serving with Company F of the 114th Pennsylvania Volunteer Infantry, also known as Collis's Wolves. Private Bradley saw action at Fredericksburg, Chancellorsville, Gettysburg, the Wilderness, Spotsylvania Courthouse, North Anna River, Cold Harbor, and Petersburg. A month after the war ended, Bradley was promoted to corporal and proudly sewed on the red chevrons that you currently see on his jacket. Just weeks later, he was mustered out of the Army on May 29, 1865. In 1886, Matthew Bradley returned to Gettysburg along with his fellow veterans to dedicate a monument to their beloved regiment. It is still present today near where the Sheriffy farmhouse once stood. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Curator's Corner, and we hope to see you again next time.